In these next few videos, we're going to look at some of the changes in terms of syntax in HTML5. Now, one of the big features HTML5 offers is the chance to minimize some of the complexity of your HTML document. It basically reduces the size of it. And basically that does two things. It makes it easier to read and makes it more maintainable. Now, prior to HTML5, we had to put all of these long versions of the release that we were using for either HTML or XHTML. And the problem with this is if a new version of HTML came out, you would have to go update all of your web pages if you wanted to use the new version of HTML. Now HTML5 greatly simplifies this and we don't have to use all of this nonsense. We can just get this out of here and this is all we need now, this doc type HTML. That's all you need. And by default, it will use the latest version of HTML, but it is also backwards compatible with all other versions of HTML. So if you have HTML 4.01 code, it will work, and that's the nice thing. So you basically just can put this in now and forget about it. And the other nice thing about this is when another version of HTML comes out, you don't have to come here and update this on all of your web pages. It'll just pick up the new version of HTML, but will also be backward compatible at that point with HTML5. So that's the changes to the doc type declaration. And again, maintainability, just much easier to maintain. The other thing is they drop this requirement for the XML namespace. So you can just get rid of that. All you need now is a bare bones HTML element tag. And just look how much easier that is to read, much easier. So again, readability and maintainability. Now, character encoding also has been simplified. And basically, they've dropped the requirement to have these two attributes. So we can get rid of all of this and look how much easier that is to use. And all you're doing here is ensuring that all browsers read the character encoding correctly for your web page. And it's sort of just the default UTF-8, you don't, and you can keep that there and you don't even have to think about it going forward. The entire character encoding declaration must be included somewhere within the first 512 characters of your document, but mainly it should appear before any content-based elements like title. So we should put this first in our head section. Now also in HTML5, they have dropped this type attribute that we included with our style sheet here. Originally, the intent here was that there might be different style sheets out there, not just CSS, but CSS is so standardized now, you don't even need this. So we can get rid of that. And for JavaScript, the same thing. We don't need this type attribute anymore. We can just get rid of that. There's no reason for it. And now you can see just how simplified this looks. Again, much easier to read and much easier to maintain. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll just make sure this loads. And of course it does. So we will continue on in the next video with syntax changes in HTML5. See you guys then.